Hey everyone, welcome to a, another broadcast of Facebook Live. I'm Jeff Palmer, CEO and founder of Clean Machine, a plant-based natural fitness nutrition company. I hope you like my new tagline down there, Sopguru. Uh, for all you Sadhguru fans out there, <laughs> that's exactly where I picked it up from. My wife and I were kidding around. Um, so the title of this one is Why Going Green Gets Gains. And <clears throat> okay, let's 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 validate that statement first, because I know it's a catchy tagline, but what does it what is Jeff really talking about? <laughs> Well, there is something that makes green plants green, basically, which is chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is a, um, is a chemical that actually captures sunlight so that plants can convert that to energy. Capturing sunlight. Well, of course, you know, all, all of the energy in our, our area basically comes from the sun. So the suns capture it, then animals consume it. It's, it's all how it's brought here. Um, but what's interesting is that we, as humans, can actually benefit from this chlorophyll in plants. So the old, the old understanding of that, that plants get energy from chlorophyll, but only plants can do that. Uh, animals can't get any benefit from that. And of course, you know, you've probably already read about some of the other uh, health benefits from chlorophyll, such as detoxification, blood building, um, lots of different uh, ways in, 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 in creating health benefits. But this is one thing that's really not been talked about a lot. And I'm, it, when, I, when I read the words in the study, I'm like, Oh, what? It was really exciting to me. So I, I wanted to share, I want to do a Facebook Live about it. So let's jump into the research. So here's the first one. So the first uh, study, dietary, uh, I'm going to put it in the chat box so everybody can see it, along with the link. So if you want to look it up too as well, you just copy and paste that link in and you can read the study for yourself. So in this study, it says, we propose that dietary chlorophyll and or its metabolites, we're not really quite sure yet. Uh, metabolites being um, when we consume chlorophyll and it breaks down, it breaks down in stages. So those different stages of chemicals are called metabolites and those metabolites can actually have health benefits, uh, often have health benefits. And in this case, they certainly do. So the, the, we propose that dietary chlorophyll or its metabolites together with light exposure. And this is really an important piece of the part here. Regulate plasma redox. That is our body's ability to create antioxidant capacity in the bloodstream. Status through maintaining a ubiquinol pool. Now, what is ubiquinol? We, we know ubiquinol and ubiquinone as two, the two forms of coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10, as most people see it. You've seen it probably as a supplement, CoQ10. You've probably read about it uh, uh, down, being downregulated by statin drugs. Um, there's lots out there, but CoQ10 plays a role. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up its little role here. Here's the picture. Let's see if I can get it up on the screen. Let's see. There we go. Okay, up on the screen there. So this is the role that CoQ10 plays in creating ATP. ATP or adenosine triphosphate is the energy currency of every cell in our body. It's what our body uses for energy. Um, adenine, uh, adenosine triphosphate. So that's what that is. Now, it's interesting. The most popular and uh, efficacious, probably, uh, sports supplement is creatine. So how does creatine work? Well, creatine goes into the body and picks up phosphates. Yeah, it's called creo, uh, creatine phosphate. So creatine, once it's in its phosphate or phosphorized uh, form goes over and donates. So when your body uses ATP, it's got those three, those three phosphate molecules stuck on it, the 
the adenosine here and then three phosphate molecules. So what it does is it goes into the cell and kicks off one of those and becomes ADP or adenine diphosphate. So now it's got two in its inactive form. So it goes into the bloodstream. Creatine can come along here, picking up that one phosphate, donate it, and now it's adenine triphosphate. So basically recycling that energy currency. So when creatine recycles or up uses that. So when you're working out, you're using a lot of energy, right? So you're converting that, that adenine triphosphate into diphosphate every time you use it for energy, kicking off that energy molecule. So, and then creatine comes along with its phosphate donor. And now you've got ATP again, it can go right back into the cell and be used for energy. And that's why creatine adds that extra strength and that extra energy can get you to push through sets, right? So that's a really cool thing. And that's why creatine has been such a successful, shown up to 25% increase in both muscle strength and muscle gains. That's actual real muscle size. So this is really cool. And that's why creatine has been probably the best selling sports supplement um, in the world, period. And it's shown to be efficacious, it's shown to be safe. Now, our body creates its own creatine. So that cycle is already endogenous. What you're doing is taking exogenous or a source outside the body and putting it into the body to try to boost up your levels of overall creatine. But our body produces its own, creates its own creatine. Um, all animals do that. Um, and that's why eating some animal products can also get you creatine too as well. But you can take a vegan source of creatine. <clears throat> Actually, most creatine on the market is, is vegan by nature although it, it is uh, synthetic, it is chemically made, <clears throat> which is why it's, it's vegan, because uh, <laughs> the source materials are, are vegan. So, um, but back to the creatine. So that's how creatine works at increasing energy, strength, and muscle gains is by giving that extra ATP to the muscle cells to allow it. Now let's get back to our diagram here with CoQ10 playing a big role in creating ATPs. You can see it over on the far right or left, depending on how it's showing up on your screen, that ATP is the end result, but CoQ10 plays an essential role in that. Well, here's what they found with this research. They found that chlorophyll can actually upregulate ATP. That's right, uh, CoQ10 rather. And with that upregulation regulation of CoQ10, your body has more CoQ10 to generate more ATP. So they said, well, that's pretty cool. That means we technically can utilize the chlorophyll, upregulate our CoQ10, produce more ATP, have more energy. And just like ATP recycling with creatine, that energy can be used by muscle cells, and can be used by any cell in the body, brain, heart, liver, functions, whatever. Um, but with, with in sports nutrition of mind, that chlorophyll upregulating CoQ10, upregulating ATP, feeding the muscle just like creatine does by recycling the ATP, you can actually get higher amounts of strength. You can last longer. You can push through more reps and that pushing through more additional reps with that extra energy stimu maximally stimulates muscle to grow. And that's where you get the muscle protein gains from. So this is really cool. So that alone, that one study alone would have been cool enough, but I am going to uh, let me put this in the comments. The next one is this study. Now, this one is mind blowing. <laughs> so, okay, here's the, here's the title of the study, which kind of gives it away right from the beginning. Um, but I'm gonna give you the link to next. Here's the link to the study. And then I am going to give you the comments of the study, which are mind blowing. So <laughs> I'm going to copy just the couple of sentences that I think are wild. <laughs> and this is real science. This is not that spiritual guru guru stuff. This is not 
otherworldly. This is not conspiracy theory stuff. This is actual real hard science, but it's going to sound like it. So I'll forewarn you. So check out this. Here we show that mammalian uh, mitochondria. Mitochondria are these little kidney-shaped uh, storehouses that uh, actually generate all the ATP. This is where the mito inside the mitochondria is where ATP is produced. That CoQ10 is found in heavy, heavy amounts inside uh, the mitochondria because it's used in the production of the ATP. And that ATP then can be used to as your energy currency to boost your strength, boost your muscle gains. So here we show that mammalian mitochondria, that's us, we're mammals, <laughs> can also capture light and synthesize ATP when mixed with light capturing metabolite of chlorophyll. So let me break this down for you. So yes, the plants actually capture the energy of sunlight in the chlorophyll. And they can do that and turn it into ATP, their currency for energy currency. But when we consume chlorophyll, remember this is only found in plants, not found in any animal products, only plants. When we consume this chlorophyll, that chlorophyll and its metabolites can actually capture sunlight. Sunlight penetrates all the way clear through our body, goes all the way through our body. <laughs> it doesn't stop with our body. So it can go in and affect the chlorophyll that's inside our body and generate ATP. That is exactly what this study is saying. That's mind blowing. So I could drink a nice little drink of clean green protein, which is loaded with chlorophyll, one of the highest chlorophyll of any true flowering plants. Drink this, go out in the sun and create ATP. Now, this is something that we thought, oh, you know, the big sports supplements, they can do creatine, this can do, right? Recycling the ATP, and that's what gives you the strength. That's clinically proven over and over and over and over. Studies have shown creatine, uh, supplemental creatine increases strength gains, increases muscle gains. That's, that's a dumb thing. That's a known entity, as they call it in science. But here we are talking about drinking chlorophyll in its natural state and its whole food state and that chlorophyll going inside and its metabolites when we start to bring the break down that the chlorophyll and its metabolites can actually generate atp for our muscles this is amazing <laughs> i'm sorry I, I geek out on this stuff but this is incredible i've got some more quotes here for you uh directly um and, and here's, here's one of the, uh, I'll post another one of the comments right here in the comments section. Okay, so you can read it for yourself. The results suggest that chlorophyll type molecules modulate mitochondrial ATP. That's where all the ATP is made inside the cells, these little powerhouses called mitochondria. Um, by catalyzing the reduction of CoQ, coenzyme Q10. Remember, uh, coenzyme Q10 has two different forms and they can be uh, changed back and forth. And the chlorophyll helps catalyze, helps create that change. Um, so by catalyzing the reduction of CoQ10, a slow step in mitochondrial ATP synthesis. So the chlorophyll is actually assisting our bodies in being better able to synthesize, create ATP, the energy currency for every single cell, every single action in your body, including your workouts. So we propose that through consumption of plant chlorophyll pigments, animals too are able to derive energy directly from sunlight. So when I'm done drinking this, I'm going to up and get some sun and gain some energy. Imagine doing that, drinking a, 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 a glass of clean green protein, getting yourself some sun exposure for 10 minutes, and then going to a workout. Who needs creatine at this point? <laughs> All you need is the whole food richness of this chlorophyll pigment. This is the blood, the energy capturing uh, chemicals 
made by plants. And remember, this is only made by plants. You cannot get this from any animal product. You know, when I hear people say, oh, animal proteins are better for building muscle. No, no, wrong. This is absolutely wrong. It's not just protein. Those are just building blocks. That's like saying a house builds itself out of, out of bricks. No, it's not. You need mortar. You need plumbing. You need, you need a roof. You need shingles. You need lots of other stuff that goes into that. You need omega-3s. That's in here. You need uh, polyphenols. That's in here. You need the chlorophyll, right, for the ATP production. That's in here. Uh, you need the vitamin A for, for testosterone production. Big time in here. You need the fiber to help with the gut that produces butyrates that reduce the inflammation so you can heal and repair faster. That's in here. 30% of your fiber. This is what really building muscle looks like in a protein. A whole food packed with green chlorophyll. Why is it green? So this is an interesting thing. So the chlorophyll actually pulls in certain light rays, blue, blue and, and violet uh, light rays and red light rays on the spectrum. So it reflects the other light rays, which are the green bands, which is why it looks green. So, you know, when I say going green gets the gains, it is quite literal, and this is real science. These are two studies, breakthrough studies, really, because no one else has really been talking about it. I couldn't find any other information in the scientific community yet so far. If you found any more information about chlorophyll and ATP production, CoQ10, that sort of thing, please let me know because I am eating this stuff up. This is amazing. So once again, we're seeing the consumption of plants is giving us something that helps us with our energy levels, with our health levels. Remember, ATP, mitochondrial health is an indicator. Let me go ahead and post this up. Mitochondrial health is an indicator of lifespan. The healthier your mitochondria are, which is where all the ATP is produced, all that CoQ10 in there, all that chlorophyll we now know in there, that's where the magic is happening. And and it's uh, interesting. Uh, I'm going to actually pull a quote right from here um, showing this. The same metabolite fed to worms, they did a study on worms, um, leads to an increase in ATP synthesis on light exposure. <laughs> Slow down, Jeff. Light exposure with, and catch this, an increase and lifespan. So uh, these C. elegans, these are studies um, that uh, scientists love to do studies on these poor little worms. Sorry that they get used and studied so much, but um, they have a very short lifespan and it's very finite. It's very known entity in the scientific community. Um, so it's real easy to see when you can extend lifespan because that's pretty solid of where their lifespan is. So anything that they do to it, they can see pretty quickly within a study if it extends lifespan. So they actually fed these chlorophyll metabolites to these C. elegans uh, worms. And it did not only increase the ATP when they had that chlorophyll in them and got sunlight exposure, but it also increased their lifespan. Plants increase your lifespan. <laughs> Not only is it great for fitness and great for energy levels. How many of you had to, had a green drink and go, wow, I feel like I have so much energy afterwards. It's not the calories. It's not. It's your body's ability to actually synthesize ATP, the true energy currency. Remember, all calories just convert through the process into ATP. ATP is the real energy that all our cells run on. This is really exciting. And it, and it is one more example of why muscle is not just about protein. It's about all of the nutrients that are in whole plants and why I was so big on getting a whole food into this. I want people to eat more whole foods. I, when I saw these isolated proteins out there with pea and rice 
with all those nutrients stripped out, they strip out all the chlorophyll, they strip out all the polyphenols, they strip out all the fiber, they strip out all the micronutrients, and then just buy cheap synthetic vitamins and minerals and, and throw them in there to make you think, oh, it's healthy again. That's not it. That's what Wonder Bread does. I mean, if you go to go working out, are you consuming Wonder Bread after you work out? That's basically what you're doing when you're when you're consuming a stripped down protein like that. So I wanted to change the game. And now that the research is really coming out of the importance of all these other micronutrients that are in the whole food plant in lentine, it's the highest in nutrient density of any plant we know of right now. It's the highest in essential amino acids in branched chain. So it's not only got the building block, it's got all the other nutrients, the chlorophyll, the polyphenols, the fiber, the, the naturally occurring vitamins and minerals, including B12. That's amazing. So that's why I really tried to put together products that truly help you with your gains, with your body composition when you work out. This is a big difference between most of the marketing companies out there who are just trying to give you something that sells, this, that, that, that tastes good and stuff like that. That's not what we do. We do innovation, really want to set ourselves apart by actually giving you the best that you can get in a convenient way. Sure, you can get these, you can get chlorophyll from eating any greens you want, but this just one scoop is more chlorophyll than an entire huge bowl of salad uh, of, of dark greens like spinach or kale or, or stuff like that. This just makes it easier to eat. Lentine is, um, is, is the, uh, uh, naturally is, uh, lentine is a, a water plant. So it's a, a small, like a micro lily pad, it looks like a tiny little, if you took a green lentil, it's called a water lentil, which is where lentine gets its name from. Water lentil, protein, lentine, that's where it gets its name from. Um, so water lentils it, it got its name from, because they look like if you took a green lentil and floated it right on the surface of the water, that's kind of what they look like. Um, they tiny little lily pads, it's called duckweed also as well but they grow really fast. One of the fastest growing plants, they double in size every 48 hours. <laughs> Imagine you could grow that fast. No, you wouldn't want to grow that fast actually. That'd be uh, cancer causing, but no, these don't cause cancer. Don't get me wrong. They just grow fast and they grow fast because they can pull up nutrients really efficient, efficiently from the water. Um, so that's why they're so incredible. That's how they get to be so nutrient dense is because they're really efficient at pulling nutrients into, uh, out of the water into the plant. And that's how they can grow that fast, doubling in size every, every two days. Um, amazing plant. I'm the very first to bring it to market. And you can see up oh, right there. And we won the Nexty Award. That is the top supplement award in the United States for best supplement of the year. So this one for out of over 3,000 brands, companies that were at the top trade show in the world for supplements, this one, number one, chosen the best supplement at the entire show. Over 90,000 people attend that show uh, on an annual basis. Such a just a proud thing. You know, I put my heart and soul into trying to find the best in nutrition for you. That's why I was first to bring this to market. We're still one of the only major brands in the marketplace in the world with Lentine. So very proud of that fact and proud that it is the highest in nutrients, highest in essential amino acids, and one of the very first plants ever found to have bioactive B12, not that inactive analog B12 that you find in seaweeds or or algaes or things like this. This is a true plant, a true flowering plant with a root, a stem, a leaf, and we use the whole plant. Pull it right out of the water, cold press it, and we flash steam it for a second so it's not technically raw, but just flash steam it to kill the bacteria, make it safe for human consumption, cold press it. So it goes basically from the ponds to powder in about 45 minutes. Amazing farm to table product. Um, ecologically uses less water 
than almost any food crop in the world. 98% of the water is squeezed out of the plant, returned right back to the water tanks. It's grown in 100% controlled aqua tanks so that you don't get any of the pollutants, you don't get any of those heavy metals. It's actually tested contaminant free because it's 100% controlled aqua farms. So it's amazing nutrient value, something you're not gonna find in most of those other plant, plant proteins, but you're not gonna get that chlorophyll either. So that's a huge difference. I wanted to share this because it's so exciting when we find something in nature and it actually really translates. I want to thank the plants once again for helping us not only learn physiologically how to capture the energy of sunlight, how to create more energy and ATP in our own bodies, and how to do that by simply consuming the green plants and getting that chlorophyll. Amazing. So next time you have a good glass of uh, clean green protein or any of your dark greens that you're doing, kale, spinach, um, any of the dark greens, the darker, the better, because that means higher amounts of chlorophyll. So the darker, more intensely green, the better as far as chlorophyll is concerned. Then just go outside and get yourself some sunlight and activate that chlorophyll. Give yourself a nice boost of energy. And have a great workout. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.